from Salem Sports Park, it's the Flash Spotlight with midfielder Sarah Huffman. I started playing when I was five and played on a boys and girls team and just kind of went from there. Uh, I have, I've always had great coaches and I've always had my parents' support and I think that that's led me to kind of move up and on with my career. Um, I played for the youth national teams growing up and that was always um, an awesome experience traveling the world, you know, as a teenager just learning about the game and we've always had the U.S. national team who's been, you know, the best to look up to and I think that having those aspirations and then having good coaches and good teammates, I love being on a team and it's led me here. As a midfielder, maybe Christine Lilly. I'm, I think that she, you know, is amazing on the ball and just her career's been so long. Um, but I think I've always just looked up to the team. You know, I think I've always aspired to um, accomplish something with a group of people. And I think that having our national team to look up to, um, that's always been really awesome for kids. <laughs> Well, one time I heading is not necessarily my expertise and I went up for a header and had someone's braces go into my forehead. It wasn't necessarily funny, but knowing me and my desire to challenge in the air, um, maybe that's where my fear began. Winning the U19 Youth World Cup, I think, was probably we won in Canada against Canada. Um, and we had been training for that um, for two years. And um, kind of those girls I played with were my sisters. And I'd say if I had to say one, that would definitely be it. Depends if I'm on the road or at home. On the road, usually a little bit of rice, some salad, some chicken, some bread. Um, and at home, whatever I'm more in the mood for, I guess. Have fun. Um, I think that you're not going to get anywhere doing anything if you don't enjoy it. So I'd definitely say hard work and make sure you love it. Yikes. We've been talking a lot about movies. Uh, how to lose a guy in 10 days. Sushi. I'll go with Messi. like watching him. Here, it's Wegmans. Country which is never playing in our locker room. <laughs> we live in Texas. I have one sister. She's three years younger than me. She's a nurse and my mom and dad um, are awesome and they are recently retiring to a little lake house. So it's really cool. I'd say they're mo my most recent memories with them just get all getting together and having some time just even sitting around the couch, sitting around the table. Um, I really have grown to cherish the time I get home. I don't get home too often, so I think that, um, that just hanging out at home. Um, it was good. I, at the time, there was no league, so we have a five-year master's program, so I stayed and I, I was student teaching and then helping out with the soccer team. Um, and it was awesome, I was able to, as, because they had been my teammates, um, kind of just help them. I wasn't going to be on the field with them, but just play the same role, I guess, train hard in practice and help them if they had any questions. And then, you know, I'd go from teaching at school to going to practice. So I enjoyed it. Um, I love Virginia and I was happy to help the team out. It was great. Um, you know, I had always dreamt of that and came back from my ACL and got in there um, a little bit unexpected so soon in the game, but um, it was great. Uh, my parents had driven in, so that was cool, and um, yeah. Long and bumpy. Um, it was my fifth time driving cross country. 
uh, this time in a Jeep with the biggest wheels possible. Um, so the shock absorption was kind of like this the whole drive. Uh, but you know, I got here in five days and it was snowy, but um, yeah, not in California anymore. <laughs> Oh, tough. Everything. Uh, I love traveling, so I would love to go to Africa. I'd love to spend more time in Japan, get to Australia. Um, I love being outside. I love the beach. I love the mountains. Um, I'm up for anything and everything. There's a lot of things I would love to get into. Um, I think that finding a nonprofit to partner with or work with and help um, definitely with the youth. Um, a lot going on right now with the bullying and everything, um, stereotypes. I don't know, I just would love to help out with some sort of nonprofit organization. <music> Food, water, and A helicopter to get off my deserted island. <laughs> a goalie, because I don't know why, how they can do what they do. Um, so yeah, I would like to be in there and have no fear to like dive up to that post and save it. I don't know. They've all been great. I've had too many good ones to remember a bad one, I don't know. Not many. I'm not very athletic, I'm not good at other sports, and I have a hard time catching things, so... maybe I, I can run. Coke. chick fil -A. Coffee. Neither. Not a big city, not the country. The beach or a town, a quaint little town. The voice. Beach and pool. Sunset. <laughs> Flash. Tickets for all 2013 home games are available at WNYFlash.com or by calling the Salem Stadium box office at 585-454-KICK.